Kurofano. Beautiful day here in Ruwata. Just in my wood paddock. There's our firewood there and some in the shed there. There's our rough little cottage. <laughs> yeah, Ashley, let's make some more friends. So this is my uh where I I do my fun yeah, boil my fungus, um where I do my char cloth. Um actually really need to get a couple of concrete cinder blocks so I can stick my barbecue barbecue grate over it um, so I've just grabbed some charcoal just out of our previous one and all we can do there friends is I just got a 4x2 here or the Americans go the other way they go 2 before, and you can just pound that up crush it up well, this was all I did last time. So I'm going. My container here holds about four litres. Um, so I'll pound this up and I'll come back. Right. So I've just mushed that up with my two before, four by two. And then I've collected some ash from my hardwood ash from my fireplace. So I'm going to top that up to a third of the pot and then we're going to add our rainwater and I'm going to boil it for about 35 minutes get it up to a simmer and then just simmer it away so far no I've, I've filled it up with rainwater soft water and I've just given it a mix around with my stirring stick light my fire and then we'll simmer it away, bring it to a boil, simmer for 35 minutes. Right, Ofano, just bringing this to a boil and then simmer it for 35 minutes. And if it um, starts boiling up, frothing over, just lift it up, let things settle down, and then we just put it back on. It doesn't, yeah, it's not a race. Um, yeah, and we don't need to boil the, yeah, proverbial out of it. And ideally we want to keep this as low cost as possible. Um, so, yeah, try and get yourself access to free hardwood. Um, if you know someone that's, yeah, got a fireplace that's near you that, has been burning hardwood um, ask them for you know do they yeah, what are they doing with their ashes um, try and get that for free um, yeah ask around if you know if you can't get rainwater off your roof ask around is anyone um, collecting rainwater in your area you know can you don't need a lot um, I've got four liters that, that will hold four litres, but I haven't got four litres in there. But yeah, um, try and do this as cheaply as possible, friends. Um, and it's not a race. So I'll just let this come to the boil and then I'll simmer it and I'll bring you back. Also, friends, I recommend getting a pot. Um, this one's got a um, thing of me jig on it. What do you call um, a handle? Uh, the Australians would call that a billy can. Um, yeah, we're not that technical in New Zealand. We'd just call that a pot. Um, but yeah, if you've got a handle on it or if you go to the thrift store or something, try and get a pot where you've got two metal handles at either side and get a hunk of wire just so you've got something to lift it off, lift it on. And if possible, get some, get yourself some uh, leather gloves uh, just to protect you. Um, yeah, you want to be um, as safe as possible. 
I don't want to burn our hands and a stick um, get a nice long stick that you can get in there and move that ash around and treat it like a lady just be gentle and we just want to bring that to a boil and then we want to simmer it for um, half an hour 35 minutes yeah it doesn't need to be hours and hours and hours and then once we've done that we want to sit that aside um, somewhere if you if you can get a lid get one with a lid or find a lid that you can just put over it you want somewhere where it's dry and you can just sit that aside to just let it do nothing for I would say four to five days um, yeah um, I'll have to go back over my notes and and look at how long I've um, left my first batch um, yeah and it's not a race um, because once we make up say four liters of liquid um, yeah we can re-soak um, use that recycle that liquid um, so as we do a bunch of cattails take them out put a new lot in there and we can reuse that ash lye water so that's pretty much it friends I hope that's simple enough and easy enough information how to make an ash lye using soft water rain water or distilled water or um, I'll have to put in my notes uh, the water that Dean got so yeah that's why distilled water is good it's got all the um, the metals and it's got everything taken out of it so it's just um, pure water um, yeah but yeah try and do these things cheap as mud um, on a budget just try and um, yeah if someone's got a garage or something and um, you can just set up where a bucket overflows off the uh, where it overflows off the um, guttering on the on the garage or whatever um, yeah right ash lye water uh, kaketi and all yeah and we don't need to uh, stir it all the time friends um, just every now and then every sort of five minutes just yep move the ashes around Ooh, might need to lift that off shortly so yeah that was just a little brief update of info yeah I think too Fano have have more actual of your white white ash than your charcoal be it with me Yeah, I went for a mix of about half and half there, but yeah, I'd almost go like a third of this bucket you want ash, um, two thirds water, but out of that third of ash, I would say try and have two thirds um, of your, your white fluffy ash as opposed to your, um, your bits of charcoal that haven't fully burnt. Um, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to yeah do this batch, and then I'm going to try another batch, but I'll try and do um, pretty much all of it with very limited um, bits of charcoal or the yeah, unburnt wood hardwood and I and I just want to compare 
um, the strength of the lie, the difference of it makes any difference. So yeah, we're still learning, experimenting, and um, yeah, let's um, try and perfect this um, so we can all benefit from it. And yeah, uh, we've got access to flint and steel um, ignition sources then that um, will last and they're not perishable like um, char cloth or charred punk wood which have a limited expiration time where the longer older it is uh, the less reactive it is so I'll call it there and um, yeah once I finish this uh, simmering this for another say 10 minutes um, I'll just set it aside to just sit for minimum four or five days um, and I'll just need to uh, refresh my notes and see if I need to do it for a week or I think it was actually only um, 24 48 hours or something like that um, but to me it doesn't hurt leaving it longer just for all that goodness um, to come come out of the ash and infuse into the water so we'll leave it there sorry it's a long one but yeah trying to explain it in a way that um, helps all of us understand uh, pretty easy process kaikiti and all so that's batch one there Fano, but it up there you can see it's just steaming chugging away there on the outside it's like a witch's brew isn't it so that's batch one and there's batch two there that's got more white ash in it it's just about ready to come off and we'll set it set it aside for um, four to five days. Um, check my notes just to make sure. Um, yeah, what the minimum is, um, and it doesn't matter if it's longer. Um, yeah, that's where um, just uh, experimenting, trying these things, uh, we find what works, what doesn't, um, and we're able to refine and perfect these things. So, final bit of useless information. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's a long video. Kaikiti and all.